Now we're proud to welcome Air India back into the Tata family after all these years. That's what N. Chandra Sekran wrote to Air India employees today. After the final handover was completed with the government, he promised a golden age for the airline that was nationalized in 1953. Here's a report. The Maharaja is now back with the Tatas. 69 years after J.R.D. Tata, the pioneer of civil aviation in the country, began Tata Airlines. This entire 2,700 crore has been uh, received by the government. We have transferred the shares. Entire 15,300 crore of debt which was to be retained, that has also been accepted. New board is just uh, taken, uh, doing a meeting now. Okay. So we have handed them over. The Tatas promise a return to the past, a world-class airline, but also a look at the future. Later, in a letter to Air India employees, Mr. Chandrasekharan said, Today is the beginning of a new chapter. The entire nation's eyes are on us, waiting to see what we will achieve together. To build the airline our country needs, we need to look to the future. We are totally delighted that this process is complete. We look forward to working with everyone to create a world-class airline. The Tata submitted a winning bid for Air India in October for 18,000 crore rupees. They've now paid 2,700 crores in cash. They've taken over debt of 15,300 crores. On the 31st of August last year, Air India had a total debt of 61,562 crores. Of this, 46,262 crores has been transferred by the government to a special purpose vehicle. A part of that debt, which has been taken over by the government, will be serviced through the sale of Air India land and property worth at least 14,718 crore rupees. Formed by J.R.D. Tata in 1932, Air India has been a pioneer in civil aviation. Way back in 1960, Air India inducted its first jet aircraft, a first in Asia. It started flying to New York that same year. By 1962, Air India had become the world's first all-jet airline. And in 1971, it inducted its first Boeing 747 Jumbo and introduced its Palace in the Sky livery and branding. The Air India mascot, the Maharaja, is one of India's most iconic advertising successes. But with highs came the lows. Overstaffed, debt-ridden, with collapsing service standards. The 2007 merger of Air India and Indian Airlines proved to be disastrous, with combined losses soaring to $960 million by March 2009. And once a previous attempt to disinvest the airline in 2017 fell through, it seemed Air India's days were numbered. By taking on Air India now, Ratan Tata will have fulfilled a lifelong dream, but turning around an airline that bleeds 20 crore rupees each and every day may prove to be his biggest challenge yet. With Sunil Prabhu, Vishnu Shom for NDTV.